Hey guys, welcome back. And this is the second video in my series of two tool projects where I use only a jigsaw and a cordless drill to build stuff. And today I made this simple bench. It's 18 inches tall, it's about tape measure. Tape measure, where are you? I'm always losing my tape measure and my pencil. So it's 18 inches tall, it's about 11 and a quarter inches wide, and 31 inches long. It's a nice a sturdy bench and it's really easy to make. I built this um, in an hour and a half this evening and that's with filming. So if I didn't have to have that camera running and uh, moving it around and getting the right angles, I probably could have built this in probably 45 minutes to an hour. If you wanna see how I made this, stick around. I'm gonna start this project off by cutting two pieces at 17 inches. Next, we're gonna cut a 27 inch piece. So once you finish making all of your cuts from the one by 12 by eight foot piece of pine, you should have two 17 inch pieces, a 27 inch piece, and a 35 inch piece. Now these two pieces here are the legs, and we're gonna cut a V out. I'm thinking we're gonna go five and five eighths down, just make a mark roughly in the middle, and uh, five and five eighths from the end, because that's middle. My boards are 11 and a quarter inches wide, so that's roughly the middle of the board. It doesn't have to be exact. Do it on both pieces, five and five eighths, and five and five eighths. Now, I'm thinking I kind of want to keep it kind of fat looking here in the bottom, so we're gonna do maybe three inches on each end. And then just connect those dots. Well, they're not really dots, they're more of tick marks. Connect the tick marks. Okay, now we'll cut those out with the jigsaw. Now we just have one more cut to make, and that is to rip this board right down in half. Now my boards are 11 and a quarter inches wide. Dividing that in half is five and five eighths. It's gonna make a line for me to follow. Five and five eighths. Five and five eighths. And I'm just gonna use my framing square again. Now these two pieces are the stretchers that connect the, the two legs together. And you could, if you wanted, cut a fancy design in this and mirror it on both sides if you so wish. But I'm just gonna keep this project simple as can be and just do a straight line. Now it's time for assembly. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna keep the rough face of this pine out because I kind of like that look. Like the birdhouse, we're just going to screw it together. And make sure you pre-drill so you don't split the wood. By the way, I love these Greek yogurt screws. They're amazing. And just fit your next piece in. So now that you have your base assembly done, all that's left to do is to attach the top. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna center that. And where's my tape measure? And I'm just gonna measure side to side. Would you look at that? Huh, three and an eighth. That's what you need to have to center that. And I just got that right on just by dropping it in place. Now we just have to um, add a bunch of screws into the top of it.
I'm actually designing this as I go. And as I'm looking at this, I really don't like how much overhang I am giving here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lob off the ends. I think I'm gonna give it only an inch overhang. So that means I have to cut off two inches. And I think that's gonna make it look a lot nicer. Oh yeah. Yep, that is solid. So that is it for this video. If you guys like this project, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.